So guys, Shore did not expect the kind of reactions he got from the obedience after he used a negative word at Peter Obi. We know that Peter Obi recently came out to react to the, the recent increment in the price of electricity. And Peter Obi's option or his own suggestion is that let the rich, the super rich be taxed so that the poor woman who sells vegetable and the poor farmer who depends only on maybe the, the meat he cashes as a, as a, a, a hunter or the produce that he gets from his farm so that they themselves too can enjoy electricity so peter will be of the opinion that the super rich should be taxed so that the poor people can get light and the uh, he also told Nigerians that that is how it is done in developed countries. So Nigeria should adopt that system instead of taxing everybody, instead of asking everybody to pay the same amount, the super rich should pay, subsidize for the poor. And Showare didn't like that, but Showare came up with this tweet that steered the, 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 the rot in obedience. I mean, people became very angry. Look at the language Showare used at Peter Obi, and that obedience didn't find funny. So this tweet said, these guys are just so dumb that they wake up and copy and paste slogans from other climbs. This was how Peter Obi woke up one day and traveled to Egypt. He claimed he went there to learn how to generate electricity. He visited a switchboard in one Egyptian power station and returned. That was it. Now he is here asking to tax the rich as if electricity tariff increase is not for the rich and overfed good for nothing rich buccaneers as if where subsidy remover was not meant to benefit the Nigerian niveau rich as if the rich pay taxes. They support their uncle, official bat, that is Tinobu, to decimate people with low income. As soon as people with low income are further destroyed, they started commissioning boreholes for them, dumb people. So possibly he was referring to Peter Obi going to give the northerners borehole and all that. And he ended up calling saying dumb people that was even the one that pissed so many people you know off on the social media i mean so many obedience have reacted on the basis of him calling peter obi dumb and if you followed me from uh you know the the, the beginning of this tweet he equally used that language he said these guys are just so dumb and and he ended it up again with saying dumb people so many people did not find this tweet you know uh, funny and he finally ended this tweet with, by the way, how do you tax the rich who hide their wealth in tax heavens? Revolution now. So it is clear to show himself that so many Nigerians are really wealthy. I mean, the super rich are over rich to the extent that they hide the, their money in other countries like Switzerland and other, they have, many of them have offshore accounts. And that is actually what Peter will be saying. Tax these people who are super, super rich and use it to provide electricity for those who cannot you can imagine some graduates who just graduated and they don't even have job and you want to be taxing everybody to pay the same with somebody who is wealthy that is what peter Obi didn't find funny the woman who sells vegetable in the market should be able to enjoy electricity so tax the super rich and subsidize for the poor so that the poor will pay less that's just what peter will be saying but she came up to say that peter Obi is dumb and you know all kinds of things that he said here and nigerians did not find that funny i'm going to be playing the video where peter will be reacted to you but i wanted to take a look at the reactions coming from the obedience just take a look at this this person reacted and said, your problem with Obi Bisse, he come out when you think you had hope of becoming president in this country. The youth leave you, follow Obi. Trust me, they will follow him again. So that is it. So this person reacted again and said, attacking Peter Obi every day does not make you right or help in your case. He is doing something to help. What are you doing? Yes, Peter Obi is doing something in his own little capacity. Providing water for people is not, it's not a dime. Even him touring the entire country, do you know the cost of traveling the whole, almost the whole Nigeria? And Peter Obi does not rest. Every day he's on the road. That is the kind of precedent we want. So, guys, this person again, Akan Akban said, you are only noticed when you mention Peter Obi. Have you asked yourself how many times Peter Obi mentioned you in all his life? And this other person said, Show already done join Tinubu's 10 euro per tweet gang. So, guys, honestly, he did it. There are a lot of reactions, but I just brought this few. And this other person said, 
I didn't know you could go this low to call your opponent names. One would expect you to stick to issues. I have always known you lack class. As I said earlier, in a functional society with different population, you won't have a voice. Not like you have any voice in today's Nigeria, though. So, guys, you can see many many obedients are not happy with Shore, and he's even losing his support base because many people who supported him now that he's not preferring solution to the uh, challenges of Nigerians, you know, instead he's attacking somebody like Peter Obi, a politician who stands out. Obedience are not finding that funny, and this other person said, "Why attack Obi?" over this advice what have you suggested as an opposition instead instead you look on while the criminals keep suppressing the masses and this other person say you can never even in your next life amount to half of peter obi you are trying to gain engagement by castigating a butterfly that thinks himself a bird hmm. so guys honestly uh, Showare is really losing his support base, you know. He's losing for criticizing Peter Obi, who is saying that let the rich be taxed as it's done in the developed countries. It is done in Europe, it's done in the US. The super rich be taxed so that the market woman, you know, in the market can sell her vegetable and still go home to enjoy electricity. That's just what Peter will be saying. Tax the rich, those that have access, that are even saving some of their money in Switzerland, saving some of their money in all offshore accounts tax those people so that the malam who sells mats in the market and cannot even afford to pay house rent can still go home and enjoy electricity that's just the interpretation of what peter will be saying but shore is not finding that funny i'm going to be showing you that video but let's take some of more reactions so this person say you are such a sore loser you won't get the traffic without peter obi in your daily post so this other person says shore you are not fit to be a local government chairman not alone press President. Not every policy should be criticized. Honestly, Shore got it wrong. He really got it wrong. So this other person say, when you rake up a better CV and cop your abusive language, maybe Nigerians will take you a bit more serious. I wish you quick recovery. <laughs> that is when uh, Shore gets a better CV because so many people said, ah, Shore, you are you were just uh, a student union president, and that is just what you are, an activist, and you are like, you know, speaking ill of Peter Obi, a man with enormous CV. I, I don't know if you saw somebody had to even put up uh, uh Peter Obi's CV yesterday on the internet, and uh, people were like, Wow, this man is loaded. So, guys, I, I may want to share with you that cv at the end of this video so stick i uh, so this other person said the more you criticize will be the the more trust and confidence you lose among the merits of well-meaning and sensible nigerians who would be hoping to support your political ambition that is just it the more you're attacking peter will be you'll be losing more people and this other person say yeah yeah sure you should be with deji ranting at efcc gate officials not meddling in politics which is clearly beyond your comprehension president faye and prime minister sanko did not play this kind or this type of ping pong politics in senegal grow up dude it's disgusting Hmm. that's to tell you that people were really bitter i mean people weren't happy when they saw the tweet that chore put up and this other person said which investment do you have in nigeria apart from your brown envelope media how many poor nigerians have you lifted out of poverty from your pocket what have you done for your constituency in ondo state why don't you go home to contest for Ondo governorship election and see how he went further to say something? And this last person said, Mr. Yeye, this is so unfortunate. You were doing better calling out the government in their wrongs, but relegating yourself to insulting fellow Nigerians and, and a distinguished that only gave an opinion on how the government should run a system better it's a shame you can do better so guys a whole lot of reactions i mean thousands of reactions that tweet went viral nigerians i mean obedience and i i believe that even those who are not obedient might not take this uh tweet you know for a play for a joke you can't just come out and begin to call refer to peter will be as dumb people you know you refer to somebody like peter will be a man who does not have any dent 
who is not among those embezzling and destroying Nigeria. And he just offered a solution. He suggested, if he doesn't speak now, people will say, oh, Peter, will be, if you know how to save the economy, come and share. Now he is telling the government, do it the way it is being done in developed countries. Let the super rich be taxed and use their money to take care of the market women. Give market women light. Give that man who is a farmer light. Somebody who goes to cut grass for other people before he could feed his family. Let them enjoy electricity, but the, the rich can pay. We all know that we have super rich people in Nigeria. The only problem we have is the margin between the poor and the rich is so huge. So you can imagine taxing people like Dan Gote. So that the northerner, we say a hunt, a northerner, we say hunter, who only goes to the bush to get meat, can equally have light. It's not a bad suggestion. So, guys, you can see it for yourself. This was what Shawore tweeted, and Nigerians were not happy at all. So, guys, I'm going to allow you to take a look at that video where Peter will be reacted to this. Thank you, I've been going around the country trying to in various communities support areas of need. Today, the seventh, today the seventh of April, I'm here in Gombe, and I came to this market. You know, Pantani market to be able to help them in area of water supply. That's the goal one I just in area of water because you could see their business here. You can see the, all the rams, all the rams and everything here. You could see them here. Being so, but they don't have water. For you to have such a business, you need water. So that's what we provided. And we're also going to support some individuals that will do remotely and send them some little money to support them. About 100 of them. That will be done and everything. So that's what we are doing. And I decided to come into the market itself to price the ram, which you can see the smallest, like this one that they're looking here, which is been which is about eight last year, about forty thousand. It's now double the price. The salary is just by the corner. So you can see that it's going to be difficult for everybody, especially families, to celebrate. And this is what we are saying that things have doubled, things have tripled. It makes it even the poor more difficult to live in our society. One of the issues that made Nigerians grow now is the issue of entity tariffs. Over the few days now, Nigerians are also groaning under the increase. What's your reaction to that? Well, my reaction to everything that is happening here is that we should all think it through, see how we can provide remedy, you know, how we can deal with it. Especially as it concerns the poor areas. Everywhere in the world is known that those who are living in high band area pay more, while those in low areas are subsidized. That's the way it works. Thank you. So, reports have been that you are now contemplating leaving the Labour Party for another party because of the crisis that are happening. No, there's no, there's no, there's no such thing. I'm for peace. Yes. But I like peace. But let me bother you down. I believe that we are one. We are one people. Our concentration should be on peace. Okay. And I believe we will resolve all situations. There are recent online reports suggesting you are pairing with the former Kadnastic government. Is there any reaction to it? Well, I'm more interested now. I'm more interested now in Nigeria feeding today than about tomorrow. about the election rather than what Nigerians are going through. My commitment is about Nigerians living in a better society, living a better life. You could see this business without water for years. That's what we should care about. And that's my concern. So, so guys, you have seen it for yourself. This is what happened. This was how Shoure, you know, belittled himself. And you need to see, I didn't want to like put up tweets that we cause, uh, you know, <laughs> that we stir up dust on my, on my channel. So I just 
picked up these ones but i tell you many nigerians are not happy and the more shore goes this route the more he loses you know he he said his followers i mean he loses more followers from his base because no sensible nigerian will want to hear you just call somebody who didn't even mention your name who didn't even talk about who didn't even direct any his response to you somebody who just peter obi has been helping out look at since after the election he has been going around donating donate this is a private man a private business owner he has been going around donating we know in nigeria even if it's just five million you take away from your business it bites a lot and him traveling around nigeria you know what it takes to even travel across the nation so what peter obi has been doing that you know going close to the people listening to them doing the little he can showore has not done any of those but he is where he is today criticizing peter obi for making this kind of suggestion which nigerians have said oh peter obi even proffered a solution you you don't have any solution to proffer you are now criticizing a man who proffered solution so guys this is it i don't know what you have to say about this please don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell please give this video a like so that youtube can recommend it to others and drop your thoughts in the comment section below thank you